pillow and I want it's on here as promised I'm going to pick a lucky winner for the one over four scale model today as I promised you on my previous video post on LinkedIn about a week ago so this is gonna be the models that I gave away today right so this is how we're gonna do it let me show you so What I have done is I have taken screenshots of every comment under the uh, video post about the uh, this model that I share on my LinkedIn. And um, so basically, you know, here are all the comments of the people who wanted to enter the free draw. Um, and I'm using an app on my phone right now to play all these photos um, in the slideshow in no particular order, completely random. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it running like that. I'm going to place my phone in this jar right there and I'm going to leave the jar in that corner. So, okay, just leave it for now. What In the meantime, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a very exciting upgrade that I've done on the 1 over 2 scale model, which is this one here. And once we finish with that, let's grab the phone back and see the very first person who show on my screen is going to be the lucky winner of the 104 scale model. Done. Right, okay, so let's leave it aside for now. Let me show you. So this is the upgraded version for the 102 scale model, which I share on Thingiverse a couple of days ago. Um, a few people have successfully printed this model, so congratulations for you and well done. Um, so, right, today, let me show you a very exciting upgrade that I've done to this model. Okay, so let me just open this box. Right, so I have managed to uh, put a small motor into the model to spin the fan. Really cool. And okay, so I added the exhaust nozzle as well, as you can see here. So the secret is actually within this exhaust nozzle here there's a small motor that i hidden inside the exhaust nozzle uh, to dry the fan which let me show you so i'm going to switch off the uh, motor for now as you can see the fan has stopped spinning which is good and then now i'm going to remove the uh, exhaust nozzle and, and i'm going to show you what is inside okay so i'm just gonna remove that just like that okay so now this is the motor that is to dry the fan in the front and let me remove this for you there you go simple as that so that motor is um, located inside a motor housing which is this part here a 3d printed the motor housing and the motor is located inside the uh, exhaust nozzle just like that and the small shaft on the motor is connected to the shaft of the engine and when the motor spin it spin the fan as well very simple idea but very effective and then one cool thing about this one is you know the uh, exhaust nozzle is completely um, well magnetically attached to the uh, engine so you can just remove the motor just leave it aside and you can you know reattach the uh, exhaust nozzle back into the model just like that and now you can spin the fan manually and you can spin it as quickly as fast as you want it can spin really fast actually to remove the exhaust nozzle very easy because it's magnetically attached to the model all you have to do is leave it up just like that and uh, tilt it just like that very simple okay so now i'm gonna reattach the motor to the uh, engine so firstly i'm gonna put the motor back into the exhaust nozzle um, and then just slide this in just, you have to make sure that the uh, small shaft on the motor is fully engaged with the uh, shaft on the engine Just like that okay so now i can turn the motor back on 
That's it. And I'm gonna place a lid back on to keep it out of dust. There you go. Right, so that is done. Now let's see who is going to be the lucky winner of the 1 over 4 scale model. Exciting, exciting. Right, so, ladies and gentlemen, the lucky winner of the 1 over 4 scale model is Stephen Carter. Congratulations, Stephen. You know what? You just won this one over four scale model completely free of charge. So, Stephen, if you inbox me your um, shipping address, I will post this model to you as soon as possible. Okay? Thank you, Steve, and uh, have a good day.